Hey everyone, it's me James again, and today I am going to be doing another soap for the YouTube Pass Around, and today's soap is going to be Shave Revolutions Executive Vetiver. So thank you again TSE, he's the one that's been sending these uh, to us, so thanks man. And... What I can tell you about the scent is that, for one, it just smells great. Uh, the soap itself is real soft, almost more like a cream, uh, cropey, creamy type consistency, real soft. Um, just has a really nice cologne type scent, so like a cologne with some sweet elements to it. Earthy to me, it's a probably a medium light medium type scent, like about a four four point five, uh, which is fine for me because if it's going to be have the potential to be kind of stout, like this one does, um, for my nose, uh, better to be on the lighter side as to not irritate my sinuses. Um, but it's a great scent. I think it could be stronger for me to be truthful. But it smells wonderful. And I can wait and to put that on. I opened up the little packet and smelled it and I was like, oh yeah, like that. And the razor I'll be using is once again going to be the one that Ray Pope gave me, which is the Gillette Black Handle Super Speed. And this is Blade Life 3. And this is with the silver blue. Same blade I've been using in this razor. Or the razors that he sent me for the past few shaves. That I've used. DEs. Uh, for the brush. Going with my natural blonde. Samoa 820. And actually it's been soaking for a few minutes. What I normally do is get some warm, medium warm water and fill the cup so it comes up to about here on the bristles. Put that to the side and then I'll thoroughly soak the bristles. Just turn it upside down and plop it in there. And then afterwards, as to not get too much water, is I squeeze it and shake it thoroughly. So the bristles are still wet, just not dripping wet. And that's all it'll need. Now I have no bloom water today, so some of this water that's been in here, I'll just start so that it'll... You guys can't really see it, I don't think, but... There's just enough water in here, if you see it kind of floating there, that would just basically go slightly above the uh, soap at the bottom. So here we go, loading up. Oh, just a really, really pleasant scent. I think I'm going to like this a lot. So I'm going to go out and see if there's anyone that needs any um, help that they can use in the interim as far as just having some quick work. See if I can do anything. And my kids are actually on their way home. It's early in the day, still before noon. and. Uh, I guess there was a water main somewhere up there. All right, bristles are getting coated. As you can see, there's product up in there. It's pasty. I'm gonna add just a little bit more water to start the hydration. And about the same amount of water that I dropped in there in the get-go. So I just really want to make sure that I am coated with moisture. Alright. Any other 
water I'll do, I'll do on my face, but as you can see there, you guys can notice, it's already got a nice sheen about it, as it does in here as well. This will be for right after I clear my face. There's Lemon Witch Hazel. And I think that the Cologne Ruse from Barrister and Man will match this well. So that'll be my aftershave. Alright, gonna wet my cheeks real quick. Just got out of the shower. Get some of this proto lather that's on the sides here. Alright. So it looks like the Broncos should be okay. for the season as it looks right now. Uh, of course everything is more vanilla from teams being played and everything like that in the preseason. But it looks like there is a really solid foundation of core players as well as the stars. So I'm looking forward to football season. All right, here we go. Shave Revolution Executive Vetiver. Hmm. Interesting. A little bit more green and earthy now that it's being applied. Not as sweet as it is coming out of the packet. So that's interesting. Back to my cup with water, just get the tips. And that should be good there. So Legends Barbershop here in Collierville will have their grand opening this Thursday. Today is Tuesday. So just in case if the money's right, if there's any extra, I will see if I can get a straight shave. So that'll leave me with just a little over two days growth, which should make for a really nice experience. Just to see how that goes. All right, really nice and creamy, slick. I like it. Ah. Put that down here. go. The blade is still working well. Razor is fine. Soap seems to have plenty of slickness.
plenty of cushion. Little weeper there cut off probably probably a razor bump from the last time I shaved or something. Nothing major. Alright. I'm gonna rinse and I'll be back for pass number two. Alright. So far, no irritation, no discomfort, which is always good. None that I can detect. And soap seems smooth, skin doesn't appear to be dried out. Don't sense it to be. Getting excited buying shaving gear. Marty's out there, he's doing good with his straight razor shaves. He's been persistent and he seems to be grabbing grabbing the razor by the scales. There we go. Show it the first time. Creamy goodness there. Melted ice cream. Still holding up well. Alright, so I'm going to proceed through this and I'll be back towards the end of the shave. Thanks. Alright, so I just wanted to come back and show what the third pass lather is going to be like so far. Based on what I loaded. And, you know, I am lightly rinsing my faces between each pass, but I haven't added any more to the actual tips of the brush anymore. Very nice and slick, and as you're going on, all you gotta do is paint it. Incorporate that moisture that is there. That is a really nice lather. Really nice. Alright. So there's still some left in there. Okay. That's good. Just laying down. Ooh. Still good to go. Right, so I'll be back a little bit later. Alright, it's the end of my shave. Just did my final rinse. Um, everything seemed to rinse off pretty well. Not a whole lot of... Uh, I feel clean. But I don't feel that like extra greasy film. But it's still slick. It just washed off real... Seemed to wash off real easy. Um, look at the, I know it's older and kind of tarnished, but there's not really a whole lot of buildup on the razor itself. See nothing coming off, so that's always good. Uh, let's look at what's in the brush. Dry my hands real quick. And I did do a three pass shave. Four. It's going to come out just a little bit more liquidy. But it tends to have a little bit hidden up in there. No 
looks good. Nice and hydrated. Peaky. And believe me, it had plenty of cushion, but considering the water ratio I had, it should be just a little bit droopy. There we go, but still pretty good. Again, like I said, plenty of slickness. Just got, has that nice melting marshmallow type feel to it with the water that I've added to it. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I used the straight the other day, but I got a few stragglers, so I'm gonna clean up just a bit with the DE, and I'll be back. Thanks. All right, I'm back. So just a little there's neck. lemon. There we go with that. And again, that was for the Shave Revolution Executive Vetiver using my Gillette Black Handle Super Speed with the Gillette Silver Blue Blade. There's the soap that's left over. Back to that a little bit more sweeter scent again. <laughs> Interesting. And the Samoog 820. Natural Blonde. Alright, rinse my hands. Ah, there it is all cleaned up. Nice, nice, nice. Alright. Um, oh yeah. Aftershave. Bears Dern Man Cologne Roos. Oh yeah, compliments it well. Slap behind me. It's very, very nice. Oh, yeah. And there we go. Hello, everyone. Thank you for watching. Thanks again, TSE. Appreciate it. And hope you guys have a blessed week until I see you again. Thanks. Bye.